Hi everyone, it's Dr. DiStefano, and I'm back at you with another before and after case video. And today's case is a fairly classic presentation of a guy in his late 20s who's begun to lose a significant amount of hair in the front half. But before we get into that, I'd like to briefly address some of the comments from my last video. All right, let's take a look. Babystomp3195 says, great video. I cut back on the blurring of the face. It makes it kind of creepy. And also, not being able to see where the patient's eyebrows are makes it tough to observe the proportions of the face and forehead compared to the hairline. Okay, Baby Stomp, you're totally right. I was simply using my computer's built-in photo editor, and this kind of smudge effect was the only option I found to blur the face. But for this video, I found something different. It's a pixelated look, and I hope you like it. Kevin Norris 6558 says, Almost a great transplant, as you guys could have tried to work on his temples. Well, Kevin, I'd say he's a young guy and we don't know what the future holds. So we needed to be smart and conservative. And I didn't want to take anything away from building that big, strong frontal foundation that we talked about. And I'm assuming he'll also need the back half done in the future. So once the entire top is done and we know we're in good shape, then I would worry about the temples. William Winder 6779 says, Dr. DiStefano could definitely use a hair transplant, but why does he not? Well, William, I believe getting hair transplants, like any elective surgical procedure, is a very personal decision. And like I explained in the previous videos, there are many reasons why someone may or may not choose to get the surgery. Lucky for me, having surgery is not a prerequisite to being an expert hair transplant surgeon. The Milk Drinker says, Amateurist presentation, no exposed hairline shots, no comb through, wooden presentation with lousy cheesy music, body horror. My goodness, a bit harsh, huh, my friend? I'll ignore the fact that you seem to have a thorn in your underpants and just say, well, I hope you find this video more to your liking. And now for today's case. Here we have a 28-year-old gentleman that came to us concerned about significant thinning in the front half. He had no prior surgeries and was not on any hair restoration medication. On evaluation, I assessed that he appears to be about a Norwood 3 with significant corner recession and the classic central tuft that tends to stick around a bit longer, although that appeared to be on the way out too. So we designed this hairline for him. And again, our goal is to construct a conservative hairline that's going to serve him well now, as well as in the future. So he agreed that we should do it as a strip, since that will allow us to obtain the highest number of viable grafts. And here are the shots immediately after surgery we were able to extract about 2,600 grafts from the strip procedure, which is actually pretty good given his bushy hair type. And this is what he looked like 12 days later. The patient did a wonderful job of washing his grafts. See how he basically has no scabs or crusting around the grafts? Diligent graft washing is an extremely important factor to decreasing scalp irritation and speeding up the healing. And I believe it leads to better outcomes overall. I've done a thorough video on graft washing, so if you have any doubts, I'd encourage you to watch it. Find the link in the video description below. And now for the six month progress videos. Let's start with what everyone wants to see, the comb through of his wet hair. Again, I'll remind you at six months, I expect that only about 50% of the grafted hair has woken up. So this is really just a taste of what we expect the final result to look like, but it's exceptional so far. And now let's look at the side-by-sides of dry hair. I use the remnants of his existing hair to support our new hairline. You can see that even though it's only been six months, there's already significant improvement. Starting to fill in nicely here, and it's gonna get much better. He's looking a lot younger with that new hairline, and those corners are filling in. So that's the case. What do you guys think? For a six month follow up, I personally think his results are fantastic and he's still got a long way to go. Perhaps I'll update again at a year out if there's any interest. Let me know by commenting below. This is Dr. Kenneth DeStefano and I'd like to tell you again how happy and grateful I am for each and every one of you watching my videos. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.